I know it's hard to see. We're inside. I don't want to bother her. I'm going to zoom in here. But look what we got going on. <laughs> I was just talking this morning uh, while I was doing chores that I wasn't sure if she was pregnant or not. But then I saw her pushing some hay around. So I put a whole bunch more hay in there. And she grabbed it all up and stuck it in her box. And now she's pulling hair. And that means she's getting ready to lay her eggs. Bridges are falling off, huh? I know, I know. I get mad. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so, pardon the absence. Rosemary's making a nest. We weren't sure she was even pregnant, but she's nesting right now, and I could hear her scratching on the bottom of her box. I had to put more hay in there. I had to. And I thought it might disturb her, but it didn't. She grabbed some, took it in there, so she's nesting for sure. For sure. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. Watch out. We're gonna get this stuff out of here. We're gonna make it clean for you. I know, I'm freaking you out, aren't I? I know. But you gotta have a clean run. I can't be running around in some dirty, filthy run, right? It ain't too bad in the dry spots. But where it got wet, it's pretty bad. Well, it's not too bad. I can't smell anything. It's just starting to compost. <laughs> not a big deal. Hey, Fifi, I'm gonna just put this in here. Oh, not, not very well, huh? Cleanliness is important. I know there's a silky egg in there. I don't know what else. Looks 
how it looked, huh? <laughs> Quail are hanging out in there. Whoop, that didn't work. Let's have a look. Can you even see in there? No, you can't see in there. Okay. Let's have a look here. Sorry, I know. One silky egg. And I'm pretty sure that's a gobbles. Gobbles egg. Pretty sure. Not bad. I'll take one. One at a time. Let me get you set up, my goodness. So I'm not gonna take all this out. I don't think that's necessary. Just a good chunk of it. That's a quail down there. Making a ruckus. Just a good chunk of it. You know what, we'll, we'll clean off. George's roost. Anytime you can alleviate some poop, that's a good thing to do. Get it out of there. Why not? Just get it out of there. It's not hard. Not the most glamorous work, but it's not hard. All right, excuse me, ladies. Pardon me, George. Excuse me, buddy. He's not gonna pardon me. All right. All right, I'll take this out of him. Don't go make me. They gotta get in the way, don't they? Always in the way. Sorry. <laughs> you know, they say you wanna have your cage or your pen or whatever, either 12 inches or six feet. So that the quail, when they get scared, they don't fly up and break their necks. That may be true, but with these guys, they only kind of fly sideways. They don't go up. I don't know.
Leave over there. Oh yeah. Just like that. Now, I'm losing my britches. <laughs> now I used to worry because I heard, I don't know if I read or I heard, but you want to leave some ground, some sand available for them to dust bathe. Well, they moved the straw. <laughs> They'll move it. Look, they're already moving it. Look at that. See? You don't, you don't have to worry about that. They want a dust bath. They're going to get it. Of course, the only concern then is underneath the straw is the dirt dry. But they'll dig the holes, the dirt will dry, they'll get it. That's here in Florida. Warm. I don't know about the rest of the world. Okay. See, they're scratching all around it. They love it. Look at them. It's clean, it's lovely. I don't know what they're looking for, but I guess they think it's new earth. <laughs> See, every time I put straw down, they start digging around in it, so it's stimulating for them, too. I don't know. I don't know what they're getting. Probably nothing. They're chickens, but <laughs> they like it. Now, Gigi here just hatched out some babies. We took them from her because it was going to be cold and she's been broody forever. We wanted her to eat a little bit. She's still broody. Whatever. <laughs> What can you do? Let's take our silky egg and get up out of here.